Celebrity Trainer Mazi Arias showing us how not to train an obese person with Tess Holiday. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm meaning. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words, I trust actions. I don't care what you heard, I'm not slacking. My name is Alan Roberts. This is Everyday I'm Day Fitness. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell right over here and share my videos. Subscribe to my second channel, Alan Roberts, and my opinion course coming to bubble at the end and all those places. Thank you very much. So this video was sent to me, um, and it took me an extra 0.25 seconds to look at it because Tess Holiday has me blocked now. How you doing, Tess? Um, so yeah, it was on her Instagram. It took me like an extra 2.25 seconds to look at it. Yes, baby. And woo! That was so good. Woo. It is a video of her doing the agility ladder and sprinting, being trained by celebrity trainer Mozzie Arias, who has 2.5 million followers on Instagram, her own supplement line, uh, her, I think her own like you know clothing line on Fabletics. Um, she's a highly successful trainer, highly successful. I will say this though, any trainer that believes in healthy at every size, that says you can be healthy at every size, doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about, in my opinion, of course. He's, li he's either lying or doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. Just in my opinion, of course. Um, and YouTube, I did say in my opinion, of course, by the way. Uh, so her and Tess Holiday link up three times a week from an article I read, uh, where Tess drives two hours each way to then do this type of workout. Actually, it's, you know, the other ones I saw were very safe. For some reason, this one, extremely fucking dangerous for an obese person. Here's, here's some facts, reality, physics, math, okay? Statistically... Factually, every time you run, there is anywhere from 9 to 13 times the amount of stress on your load-bearing joints from your body weight, okay? So if you are 200 pounds, your stress on your knees every time you jog, every time you take a jog, is somewhere around, you know, 1,800 to, uh, what is it, 2,600 pounds, okay? That is just fact. It's reality. It's been measured. It has been studied ad nauseum. Right? There is anywhere from 5 to 10 times the amount of force of your body weight, the amount of stress on your body weight, on your Achilles tendon. So anywhere, if you're a 200-pound person, that is anywhere from 1,000 to uh, 2,000 pounds. Fact. It's just fact. It's facts. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like The problem with the obesity you know, acceptance movement is that they're trying to ignore facts. You are not healthy if you're morbidly obese by gravity, literally by gravity, by, by the forces of you coming down on your load-bearing joints, you are not healthy because this woman, in my professional opinion, Tess Holiday, is about 200 pounds overweight for her frame. Your frame does not change. And I, hear, I saw a bunch of comments in her comment section about how it strengthens your bones. There is not enough strength to strengthen her bones enough for this type of jogging. There's not enough strength, there's not enough training that she's going to do from this. There's no reward that is going to strengthen her you know, her joints to be able to take this type of load, this type of pressure, ad nauseum. Now, here's the reality. She drives four hours round trip three times a week to train with Mazzy Arias. I personally believe, and I personally believe that this is just for the publicity. It is just for the videos and clips. It is just for whatever, because any real trainer that was concerned about their morbidly obese client would tell them, you know what, find a pool and walk in the pool for two hours three times a week and save yourself about two and a half extra hours and by the way the wear and tear on your joints which if the, at some point in time if she keeps up this type of training Tess Holiday will most likely suffer an injury to her ankle her lower back or her knees break a bone do something pop a tendon do something tear a ligament do something like that and unfortunately because I do not wish this upon anybody this could cause her early demise she is morbidly obese. She has a poor relationship with food. She will eat more, be less active, and put on more weight, and it could cause her death. That is the fucking issue, people. The issue is that <laughs> these types of behaviors are very, 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 very dangerous, and she is, her and Mazzy Azzy, or Arias, or whatever her fucking name is, are showing these things to a huge audience of people. If you look in the comments section of Tessa's video clip of this, there are people asking, how do you, you know, how do you keep working out and losing weight? Because I want to work out, but I don't want to lose weight. I love being big. That is the problem. That is where have we have gotten to. The Where we have gotten to is that where people have shown this to be very healthy, perfectly fine behaviors, and it is not a marker on you as a, how you look. 
Aesthetics are a matter of opinion. It is not a matter of your morality. Morality is how you act, not how you look. But I will say it is highly immoral, in my opinion of course, for people to be stating that you can be healthy at every size and that training like this for a morbid obese person is in any way safe. The problem right now is that many personal trainers are only concerned with aesthetics, looks, lifting, how, how, your, your goals. The majority of the population, the majority of people that start training, that start working out, are not physically suited to be worried about how big their deadlift is. They should not be worried about their time on an agility ladder. They, they shouldn't. They should not be worried about their sprinting time. They should be worried about how much time they can get at very, very low impact, very, very safe, very, 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 you know, best bang for your buck, so to speak, caloric expenditures, and seriously watch their nutrition so they can get to a healthy fucking weight. Every fucking week I have to talk about this because it seems like nobody is. Everybody's flaunting this. It's like, oh, she's a hero and blah, blah, blah. This, first of all, she should not be doing this. Mazzy Aries, if you're watching, I, I highly doubt you would. You should know better. You should know better. Just by physics, you're, you're endangering this woman. You absolutely are. Saying it was so great that she ran, oh, that was so much better, that is horrific. That is negligent, in my opinion, of course. I, I, you know, I understand that people are going to be like, well, she's Mazarius and you're fucking nobody. You're just some bald dude that screams into a fucking camera. But I don't, it doesn't matter how popular she is and who the fuck I am. I've said this before. Facts don't give a shit about where they're presented from. They're just facts and it's reality. The problem is that this, you, are, you are endangering this woman. In my opinion, of course, you are. You are absolutely putting Tess Holiday in danger because you could easily get her hurt. When you're that big, when you are that overweight, you can step off a curb wrong and, and shatter bones. Shatter bones. Again, just as a quick reminder of the facts, anywhere from 9 to 13 times the amount of body weight the person has is the pressure that goes on their joints. A person is designed, you can take a look at this picture right here, and you can see that the x-ray of an obese person still shows a actual normal sized frame. Their frame does not all of a sudden get huge, it stays normal, it stays the same size. Their frame doesn't get bigger, just the fat tissue around it and the adipose tissue and, you know, and the visceral fat gets larger. The fat around their, you know, around their organs gets bigger. That is the issue. The issue is this woman is too big to be doing these exercises and that is not a fat shame, that is not an insult, that is fact. Let's get back to facts, shall we? Because the problem, the true problem is we're ignoring this and people... Like, like videos like this perpetuate the idea that they should, that this is perfectly healthy and this woman should people should train like this. The issue is that another 300 and some pound woman who's 5'3 will try to do this because you need to remember you're speaking to the dumbest person in your audience. They'll try to do this and shatter their knees or fuck up their ankles and then they'll gain more weight and then guess what? Then they're you know, immobile, and then they're morbidly obese, immobile, and then it leads to their early demise. It just does. Dear fitness community, including Mazzy Arias and everybody else, and especially you motherfuckers that believe in healthy at every size, because any trainer, again, that believes, believes in healthy at every size, you don't know what the fuck you're doing, in my opinion. You don't. This is an issue. Let's get back to actual reality of training people and getting people fit. And that's just my two cents on the matter. My name's Alan Roberts. Hit me up on Instagram at Everyday Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Everyday Fitness. I'm also on Facebook at Everyday Fitness. Now I'm on the internet at EverydayFitness.net. God damn.